Hello, our viewers and listeners joining us from different parts of the world. Welcome to yet another special edition of Africa in Perspective Conversations with David. Today, my guest is joining me from Nigeria, Mr. Olisola Akinbinu. He is a development communications specialist and a journalist. He is also executive director at Center for Innovative and inclusive development for Africa. Today, the topic under discussion is the pitfalls of neo-colonialism in Africa and the responsibilities placed on the youth in the quest for economic emancipation. Mr. Olusola, welcome to Africa in Perspective Conversations with David. Oh, thank you. Um, it's a pleasure being with you. Mr. Olusola, can you please explain what we mean by neo-colonialism and, of course, economic emancipation? Yeah, um, yes, in, in, in this word, uh, neo-colonialism is uh, colonialism in a new form. For anyone to understand the concept of colonialism from the area of Britain, Europeans and uh, uh, Europeans basically and other People from other continents in the of Africa uh, at the starting period in history, and uh, the, we knew with the effect of this, like the majority of our able bodied men were lost to those trade and like that, so taking the way to other continents so they had their livelihood there, which will have their uh, improved livelihood and uh, social, uh, social economic industries and a lot of then other things of Spain, the colonial is even apart from slave trade and uh, the second rule is talked about even our management of our local resources. The fact that our local resources were trafficked outside of the continent, which also will have been to our population, even when our population increases, then will be very simple of how the funds and the uh, cycle of uh, economic value uh, we were taken away, we were deprived from all of this. Yeah, well, but in the way of the 1940s and like by up up for the wave of uh, independence button across Africa, different times in different countries, starting from Ghana and Ghana, Nigeria and other countries back to Africa and like that. So we were talking about the uh, independence, but even within the context of independence, where we now have black people actually managing the uh, 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 coming back again to manage and direct their uh, country to a similar to where we had before the, uh, the epoch of the colonialism. You see that there are still relics of the same uh, colonialism, even with us, but indirectly through the same nationals, but at the same time, it is, it is actually in the favor of the, of the colonialists. So in that regard, that is what the, the new colonialism is. Colonialism in a new fashion that we are experiencing today. So that is so the question that comes to that, okay, is this the best, is this the only thing you can have? To discover that there still is a kind of restriction, economic and human, uh, economic and social restriction imposed on, 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 on Africa. It is to be justified that we have Africans ruling Africa directly or indirectly. We are, we, we are not able to achieve a lot of work we can achieve our two months within our, within our own nation. So the, most, most Africans, young Africans today, are. are as we sit and are eager to migrate, that's a concept of the same no colonialism. The countries in which they are migrating to, why is it that their own young people, why are they not advocating to migrate to other countries? So they're going to spend all their lives working, uh, feeding, and doing everything to develop their country. But we are losing power. Hey, people work there in our countries and in factories factory and industries. The farms and industries pay taxes to the same country and all those things. Why is it that we cannot have them to work and do all those things within, the, within Africa? So, in that context, we see that uh, it is colonialism in a different way. So, the fact I think in our hand is that what is, what, what is going to be the implication for us local Africans and even our children? Are you the context of children uh, in, in, uh, in Described in, in, in uh, 1960, when I talked about independence, the entire population of Nigeria was between 44 million to 46 million in 1960. The population of the same Nigeria, as we are talking today, is about, in the conservative side, it is about 210 million. 
So those are number of persons who will spend directly on the resource, local resources. That is not even talking about Nigerians who are supposed to be here, who are migrated, the person of local residents in Nigeria. So in that way, we are having, so again, the digitalization of that lack, it's that what we see now is anger, is war, and all of those societies locally. So in that context, if we are increasing in, in that number, then we need, our need now, our children to be the needs of our children, and they are even going to need more than we need, because we need today more than our parents needed. Because we are driven by technology, we are driven by more exposures and everything. So that can be unlimited exposure. So the things that we they want to do on daily basis are less than what we want to do. And in that progression, we are going to have more children, more population living in Africa who are going to need more than us, but we're so aware do they get the resources to meet those needs. So there's a need for all who are living today to start to think about how to reverse this trend so that we can be able to have livelihood then as a situation for local Africans. So that is the that is quite uh, colonial, neo colonialism and uh, emancipation on the other side. Insightful, yeah. insightful. Thank you so much for uh, such illuminating uh, information. Uh, I think it has gone a long way to try to help um, many people that may be watching or listening to this conversation. You know, sometimes we, we assume people are acquainted uh, with some terms, you know, some concepts. So I think it's always wise uh, to always try to define so that at least we can set uh, a framework to our conversation. Well, without further ado, let me move on to the second question that I have for you. Um, can you please, uh, can you please let me know or let us know what then you reckon to be uh, the pitfalls of, of neocolonialism when you're looking at African countries? Yeah, the pitfalls, I, I mentioned some of it when I did my earlier analysis, but the pitfalls is that we have actually made the one is that we actually lost our identity and that is the basis of all, 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 all that is the basis on what everything economic lands upon because you cannot talk about the economy without describing the geographic environment. In a geographic environment, it talks about the local people, it, 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 it talks about their culture, it talks about their pride, it talks about even their confidence in all other person. You 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 you, you talk about in, the, in production, people talk about the cost uh, the size of goods in terms of the cost of production and other factors, but in advanced economics, we have the size of goods, especially, is not even limited to the cost, the immediate, the material cost of production. But even question of quantity, when, 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 when something, when something, you say the quantity demanded, when the, uh, the price of a good, it automatically arises when there are more of, of, of when there are more demand. So the more, the, the price is rising, not because it has increased in, in the what is used in producing it, but just because there are more, is a demand pool yes. So some other factors also come in, in even the, in, in, the, in determining pricing, which is not as, as direct, even the confidence of the person presenting. If you say, if you say, there are some benches, automobiles in the world, that they could just know that it is flat and thick. So if, even if the additional thing that we use to produce it is even lesser, they are going to see that more money, um, or, or many daily events, uh, Day to day things that you know, average person in the world use, people are still going to buy them lesser than even the one that has because it is not a just because of image that is created around it and it's on the class in which it targets. And for someone to target class, there has to be a certain level of confidence that that can displays all of all these things, everything we consume is more of constant, a uh, concept and the and the targeted services delivery. So the point is that. Uh, the, when, when you see an, uh, when an expert is in South Africa, it, 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 they, are, they, price, they, they are priced higher and high in, in a lot of dollars. But when an African is taken, even if the African is still is seen as an immigrant, you take an, you are a doctor, in, 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 an African doctor, you, you are even older than some, you are not a student, but it's hard to say it, to take certain local exams, and you see those local exams as international exams. It is only international because it is not in your own country. You are qualified as that. So 
the local pride, with the identity of local Africans is taken, is taken away. That's the people. Then from that pride, we see that we are not even able to have to, to develop our own technology. In the cold way, we look at commerce and economics from Africa that it is possible for someone to produce certain when some, when an African produces a car, if they have actually produced it for the museum on the basis that oh he has demonstrated the possibility of building a car from some but that is not what is important. You have to be able to produce for a defined market. Even when you if you have the market and you, know, you cannot produce, then you can get funding and support to ensure that you're able to satisfy the market. So what does that mean in Africa is that Africans themselves do not even have a grasp of the market of consumption in local in the local Africa. The majority of our market, they have a the graphics of it are designed in China and designed because so they even understand our own local existence, culture, preferences, and values, and, and they just, uh, 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 more than uh, more than us. So they are more African than us on commercial ground. We are just humanly African African from that day that we are going to be able to just everybody hopes to just migrate. We do not even know where you are migrating to. I think there's no population which are actually African to that side, the other economic context are maybe that many African countries you cannot even be able to define the the, the, the part of the, the, the simple things as really system, even as drinking water. Everybody just presume that we are just going to get if you have money you can buy water. Then, and then everybody just said, let me buy a big car that can be No, that's not the issue. The issue is that why is it that Africans themselves cannot look at the problem and think about how to solve this problem from beginning to an end? The majority of Africans think of a day in which they are going to be a lecturer in Oxford University and they may have to be a lecturer in their own, in the, in the exact con uh, community of their back. So, a certain place is taken away in which that place for you to get a job in Oxford, it must most likely be that the indigenous of Oxford who cannot take that position or who are not available. So why is it? So and that's uh, the, 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 the thing will not be because of your increase in population or start increasing the number of their universities there. Yeah. They are going to increase the number of their universities according to their own looking for education. So uh, it is this is many Africans want to become IMF that might they want to become this and this. They want to be, do something in World Bank to increase it. But we are talking about their own local, local economic. Many communities in Africa cannot even, cannot even define it. the corn, the number of corn, of corn, maize, the number of corn, of cassava that is produced in their own local community. They cannot even determine the number of persons who buy it. They cannot determine the communities where they consume it. They cannot determine the preferences of how they want it to be come next year. No, they cannot do that. All the city and everything is tied to money and issues and nothing that the local currencies in Africa it's is seven the, the, value of the, the, the value of their local uh, currencies is determined by the indices of uh, dollar, 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 fluctu dollar fluctuation. Why must, it, why must the value of the Naira, where, what I want to buy, receive, be determined by what the dollar says? I will not be directly concerned. But almost everything that is sold to me in a daily consumption are denominated in dollar because they are, they are imported. And why, how come Africans are comfortable with buying, I think they are inspired in buying imported goods? Why is there no narrative that okay, is that the better if you produce your own and what are the knowledge, the skills, the coexistence that will have been needed for you to ensure that you're able to produce your people to look at goods as inferior? What makes it inferior? Is it the policy or the person that produces it? Or what is put into the management? And then, if, if, you see some, if you see something that is good and you buy it, it is secondary who produces it, it is that the content itself is satisfies you. So, if you, there is marketing in everything. Marketing is looking at what is the preference of the consumer at any point in time. What does the consumer want to see? Then we have the large market in Africa. After the first, maybe I didn't mention that. Uh, 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 United Kingdom, population in the United Kingdom in 1960, when we had, when we had um, an, an independent Nigeria, our population in Nigeria was 44 million, United Kingdom was 54 million. Just as the number of Nigerians who had migrated to United Kingdom, legally and illegally, the entire population of that United Kingdom is about 57 million today. That's about 50 years, more than 50 years after. But now, population of Nigeria was 44 million, and 54 and 10 million. So, if there, if there can be commerce in the United Kingdom, satisfying just 57 million people. How much more can we have to see that there are more populated within the same Nigeria of 10 million? So, our local university is not from but secondary schools 
the secondary schools to rally. I don't know what they call it in the other Africa, but I will call it secondary schools, primary school and secondary schools. Secondary schools will make a time too. I asked one of 10 million persons as of today to satisfy that can be their potential market. How do they want to do? What kind of collaboration do they make so that just cannot get the raw material from how can they satisfy who are my competitors? Every important thing is your low, is your competitor. So those are the those are the key for local Africans should not be seeing their life, their, the life of the limited to ah, I want to get travel abroad, I want to become a rich man. Those are the consumer ideology that came with colonialism. Okay. So you have a we, that, that's a key for. And, 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 and there's need for us to think of ways to address this issue, or else we are going to have a large population who will have started to address this issue. When the population is lost, the next population is going to, what they are going to need is that they are coming to when there is no pathway for life and finding it, if they are able to find it, they are going to go into war. If there is war in many places in Africa, it's going to be a problem to the world. But if you look at the world, the population of the entire population of the world, the population of Africa, the population of Africa is of so if the population of the world is not even yet up to 8 billion, the population of Africa alone is more than 1 billion. So Africa has the 1.3 billion population plus or minus. So 1.3 billion population is destroyed. And the majority of them are running out of Africa. And you are going to a place in which you are, there are just about 6 billion people. In the, in the other places, you are going to overcrowd, you are going to cause a problem because local facilities just are not be able to take care of you. And you, you, know, you, you, they cannot even take care of you as immigrants, they cannot take care of you as jobs and things like that. So that cannot be the path. So there's still a path, there's a path that is beyond anybody just want to, I want to be a millionaire or I want to get travel abroad, quote and unquote. Just go to another place, they don't make a talk to follow and I want to start a whole life entirely, people you do not know. So in me, we have already discussed how to start the path that is placed on all the children of the generation. Very, very detailed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much um, for such a very important points, um, elaborating more on the pitfalls of neocolonialism on African countries. Well, um, historically, the young people have been known for championing and leading uh, liberation movements. What then do you consider to be the responsibilities uh, placed on the youth or the young um, in the quest for economic emancipation? Because we are the ones that are still having the energy. The young people are the ones who are still idealistic. They're the ones idealistic, they're the ones uh, with the energy, they're the ones some would like to argue even with the time to do certain things that I think the old may not be able to do so. What are these responsibilities that are placed on the youth in the quest for economic emancipation? Because as it appears, we are still in chains, chains, a new form of chains. We were in chains during colonialism, but now it appears now we are in a new form of chains. So how then do these uh, young people, how, what is the responsibilities placed on their shoulders? So as for them uh, to, to, to liberate us and emancipate us uh, from this. Yeah, uh, I mean, the, the challenge is based on the youth to be more, more, more intellectual than ever have been placed in youth. As you mentioned, we, at the time, many African youth are in, 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 uh, uh, fighting uh, against colonialism and colon colonialism is easy to define. Because a lot of the time we are black and they are white. So from a distance, you see the quality, right? this is a colonial, somebody working for them, you say, no, so you know who your enemy is, if they are asking enemy. Right? Right. At the time, another way came in Africa, where we have uh, uh, the, the military era. Many countries in Africa, so many the military you know, taking over the government, so if you had other states and things like that. <laughs> when they're fighting for democracy and things like that, so it was even easy to define. Sorry, it's an answer easy to define because if, if, if the person in government is in khaki, is a, is a military man, so they say this is not democracy, so how do we address it? But now it is not direct uh, colonialist in the in heading your country, it is not a military man, it is a civilian like this. So every man who doesn't like it, it is the end of history. But it, it, we need to come that don't see that the problem do not subside. Rather, the problem keeps getting worse. 
then we, we had an election in Nigeria in 20, there was one in 2019, but I want to talk about the one in 2015. At the time, the value of the dollar, the Nile, each, each one dollar was like 120 naira. At that period, it was like 200 naira. Everybody was like, oh, Nigeria is going to collapse like and dollar be 200 naira. As I today, as I today, the, the, uh, the, the dollar today is about 500 naira. So that is like two, 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 uh, two and a half times higher. Let me, let, 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 let me say uh, 250 percent higher than the work that we have at that time. So things are not the same. So, and it is, it, 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 it is threatening to get worse. So the question is this, that what is there something to be done or nothing to be done? There are a lot to be done, but what to be done is more difficult to identify and look at, and, and this is the issue. Now the issue is that there has to be there has to be conscientious youth who are thinking beyond how to personally survive. Youth culturally in Africa, many persons either because of where you are coming from are are doubtful of whether they are going to be successful financially successful in the lifetime. So the task given to them by the family and the culture is that ah, you need to make money sustainable. That is it. So the other task that is given is like everybody that means everybody envy uh, traveling all over the world. Yes. There are lesser number of aircraft in Africa compared to what you have in the US and say they have their fantastic family in America may have before the age of six they are flying flown in air bus and but Air, flying airbus is so elusive. You know, everybody sees an airplane and I'm going to drive and going to fly in this certain day. The another thing is that everybody most, most Africans watch movies of uh, United States and you and Europe and so you see many beautiful environments and you feel like you want to be there. It's like that. But it is not it is it is the narrative that the movie wants to create or want to do. If you look at the song of my my death passage, then my my death passage thought like the death in, in New York. What happened when she got there? He saw poverty, he saw a lot of this. He said, My just project in New York. When he sang that song, he now saw that there are a lot of poverty and everything. He said, It is the same thing. Now, what, what, what is my point? What point am I actually trying to make? The point is that Africans are not able to, mm-hmm. to their education, to their families, they are not given the task to know that they can have good livelihood in the land of their back. Find doctor for an African man are solving social problems and society says to take care of you. That has not been defined for African because we are actually lost in philosophy. It, 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 it is the concept of wealth. Wealth is defined for, for me, most African man in material things. That if you are able to use a beautiful car at a time or you have responses and because now, but if you, if you look at this philosophically for those of us who are able to study a lot of uh, political, I mean, uh, political and philosophy, you, 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 you will discover that A is not always A. The houses people desire, you see the kind of building that was constructed then, and those people look at the environment people live. People live in modern houses, they envy the white, the colonialism that they have. They hope to live in this kind of house with certain things. That was the piece of that situation. But if you look at it today, even if it's a, a, a young African, even if you buy that kind of house, you want to renovate, you want to expand it, because space and time are actually changed. So, and, but in this sense, there are some environments in the world that houses that were built 100 years ago are still living by people today without major reconstruction. So the question is this, that the house is a house, food is food. It is not that it is labeled that it's rotten from an uh, or that whatever it is that you have the number of calories you want to insert in there can also be made from the local corn, can be made from the local chicken, can be made from the local in your own environment. And if you make it there, you are not going to lose your own money to a different environment where you know, when you don't want to buy something else, you're going to be rejuvenated. The loss of your local for local currency to another currency. So there's a need for local Africans to be taught mass education history, your, your, the home country, but home education by their local population. 
the thirty if you could go to thirty is also restricted by local population and the ability of idea. But schools are where the government can pass a special ideology that okay, there is a team in a specific local environment. And this team, people are afraid because of certain bacteria, but there are systems in which that can fix water and the water can be possible and can address your problem. So what do you do as a community? How much gallon of it you do need? Where do you get along? Can we produce along by ourselves? Can we be able to get some other things flowing? Where do we get them? In that environment, you can see that people can take certain responsibilities and water will no longer be a problem in that environment. Can you look at this local environment and see so do we need electricity? Is it compulsory that electricity will come from 40 kilometers from, from another community? Can we use sunlight? Can we use to do it? We are buying batteries for the first four, 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 four years. In the coming four years, we need to also to use the same battery by the net of our having to be, and they not want to become less because they have, they have, they have, they have some responsibility split on them on daily basis. So in that, other people from other environments, they come, they are Nigerians who go to India. India used to be among the worst countries in the world at the time. But people go to India, they so didn't go and let the IT and technological productivity and all of all this in India. Even medical tourism, the Nigerians go for aliens, to go and take aliens. It is because the local doctors are developed to, to know the standard for medical logistics that they can organize. So, what stops us from able to plant ourselves? That everybody thinks himself as a big name in one big city that cannot solve any problem, but you have, one, you have a lot of allowances that can support the children to go across. How can African pass in their fight as their children, taking away from them to go and walk among? Or that's why where you may, may never see them again if you die. Why is it that many Europeans still see their family see first generation? An American to 60, 17 years, American gives back to child, and that one gives back another 18 years, and that one gives back to child under 20 years. So you can see five generations when the mother is still under 80. You can see five generations and the family baby, you can see these people give back in Africa. Like you don't see it in Africa. You say that the person is dead or decided it abroad or things like that, they communicate on phone when they, and that's how they start fighting. So that is lost. That becomes the pride. It cannot be the pride of Africa. Those, we need our population to work there, and the population should not be left idle. The economic population, everybody thought just because there's nothing to do. Where the number, the, the volume of land on, on, on use in Africa is so heavy. But as much as the land are on use, people just go in, people go illicitly and cut down all the, all the tall trees. In those trees, the land use, land cover, we have a lot of challenge in Africa because all the forests are cut away and all the woods are taken to China. And China itself is growing its own wood. Yes, buying wood from Africa. So the question is this, that why is it that every why must the international ideology imposed or not by neocolonialism is that everybody must look for a cheap day to find immediate money for himself and find himself in time to buy a big car with other people you see him that is just one produced by a certain foreigner, a certain foreigner and the, the next two years the car, the car is updated and when you have anything to repair in the car, it's just it must still be bought. And be imported into the country. So you see that we don't have a plan of local livelihood in Africa. So a generation must actually be made to understand that these things are evil because they are going to be back to children in the population and we are going to have the demand, they call, they call it an um, ecological footprint. The ecological footprint is going to be heavier in Africa because in about, in about, in about 20, 50, the African population will be rising. So the Nigerian population is there from 20 to 210 million residents today, maybe about 250 uh, uh, about 250 uh, million for, 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 for an instance, and similar to many other African nations. So we Africans must be able to know that it is uh, happiness and accomplishment is not material thing. Life accomplishment was really defined for Africans so that they were able to see themselves as deliberate solution providers to one or two in their local land. That is it, because colonialism is the reason in which an African that has never traveled to another country before is still calling themselves Americana, calling themselves Londona. And you have never been to that place before. Your mother is not to start a job from there because you just survived. So it must be 
it, it, it must be meditatively directed and winded back that you have a commitment to that relationship. Thank you so much. One recommendation would you like to submit to young people that may be watching right now? What is your recommendations on how to effectively carry out their responsibilities? The responsibilities that we have been talking about placed on the youth in the quest for economic emancipation. What is your recommendations? To yeah. My recommendation for African youth is to rethink the uh, negative ideology that is imposed on them. Africans, Africans are now physically energetic, but intellectually lazy. So Africans are the energy that is being used to run Europe. At the time, Africans were taking away a place for them to drive the machine, to them to see sugar factories, everything, cutting, Africans were taking away a place. The same way today, Africans are still taking away a place in which Africans lobby to do that place today. Africans are the doctors, in, in UK, they are the nurses in UK, and in the, in the, in the structural plan of the United Kingdom, but how to keep their, their citizens alive, so Africans are the ones brought into their houses, brought in to come and do this, is the same thing. Because they have the number of uh, humans to doctor. If they, they have more doctors there to the population, but we don't even have that here, so there's no. So Africans are even unable to realize that we do not, we do, 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 why we have doctors is to speak to them and not because we want to do anything. Many Africans become engineers, become, become professionals, professionals on the basis that how much the people of that will go to better end, not on the basis of local livelihood or where they are. And that is, this discussion is very, very important because many Africans are so doubtful. Now, the question is this, that. If a Nigerian works in the United Kingdom, you are, even whatever you end there, you have lesser commitment to your own because the taxes, the medical insurance, and every other that is imposed on you, take start taking away the, the large money you think you are earning. So you end the money in figures, but you are sending it to the system. But how much is sent into the system locally in market? Then you can see people can say that government is corrupt. But as I said earlier about no colonialism, the people who are government today are your own friends. They are your brother who is complaining of corrupt for, for government of 15 years ago. They are the same person who are in government today and cannot do anything. Else. Because society has not posted anything different. So it is now the responsibility of everybody to start talking to ourselves that we do not have any other livelihood apart from Africa. Migration does not solve the problem. It, it only gives you a, a, an hallucination that when you are energetic, you can be able to walk. You can stay out when you can, but by the time your energy starts to go down at the age of 55, 50, you start thinking about the possibility of getting back to Africa. But that Africa is more difficult to live in because there's no job at all, nothing, not, nothing is put at the And your friends, your people who get the government, just see money, they're all for them to relocate or to support their children abroad. So if there's no deliberate discussion on how to create values and organize the environment in Africa for Africans and for the you, those of you who are in diaspora cannot be able to come back. And people who are locally, who are local here, we still continue to think that all their problems is because if they go diaspora. So this is a bugger for local. So a, this is a discourse and unnecessary topic. Everybody is so doubtful of whether they are going to make money, whether they are going to survive. But this issue goes beyond survival. It is the livelihood of a race. So that racial concept of the discussion is, is like you have to first have, have an inner content that you will survive, you will live well, and you will see the solution for yourself, not just trying to get money and going to live in high dry environment and take it that you can buy a Jeep and in five years time the Jeep is no longer there, you now start to become a slave for those who produce the Jeep just because they want to wear the way a slave is you wear a, 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 a neck collar. That is the same way all of us are using all this electronics. And using all this and this thing. We are using it as a symbol of our slavery, whether we do it or not. Until we are able to see our and see the local market here, they are conjoined to the slave, either locally or the So the issue is that long Africans is still interested in that boring country. 
is boring for the most general Christian talking of how the Africans create values, but even manage government for themselves here. Yeah. Because government is a means for the respective Africans today to make money for themselves and pretend to be doing something when they are not sure of what it is. How many local African countries and uh, communities have daily systems that actually speak all of them block and nobody says them. Everybody just wants to make money from government, similar to what you have in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Everybody people just think of how they want to make money from the gold and things like that and the country country within the foreign but country they said the the goal too are well and more organized. So those are the things we have to young African countries in that country. Thank you so much. Like they say, even good things they do come to an end. It was good having you on the show. Uh, you may go ahead and of course submit your closing remarks. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm grateful for this opportunity to talk to the world in this energy. I hope there are more of us are taking interested in this topic. And we, we, we should start community with this. I, I know that from this, we can create the state agenda for the school and school themselves with the debate. Even if government does not fit into that, individual members of communities can take it upon themselves to fit themselves in this. And they can now start to give the generation the commitment and knowledge that. We don't have any other place apart from Africa. Wonderful. Thank you so much again, uh, Mr. Olus Sola. It was great having you. Thank you for coming to the show. Goodbye for now to all our viewers and listeners. We can never thank you enough. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Until we meet again, it is bye for now. Keep safe. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to also rally others to do likewise. Once again, bye bye for now. Thank you for being with us. God bless you.